Hello and good evening. Oh well, I've uh, had an update today. I've decided to change the controller board in my uh, garage heater, the Wabasto Thermotop C. What I've done is I've put this aftermarket uh, unit in. It just cuts all the confusion, all the problems of wiring. If you get one of these, then it's as simple as cake. What you got? Well, with this one, it is pin one is the controller, which is that white one there. That one there is the controller. That one there, the red one, is your switch output, which goes to your fuel pump. And this yellow one that's cut here. What that is, that's um, the control of the fan that comes on at about 40 degrees centigrade. As you can see, this one's got lots of little flashy lights in it. Look, is that pretty? And you've got that orange one down there in the bottom left hand corner. That's each time the fuel pump's pulsing, it's the same way it's pulsing. There's a red one over there, which comes on, which shows you when your glow plug's on. Of course, with these, once up to temperature, the glow plug goes off anyway. So, right, that's, that's the new one. That I've replaced, um, yeah, so Norx, Norx Electronics, they sell these on eBay. Uh, if you put in aftermarket controller, it'll come up with them. They have to come from Budapest, I think it is, but uh, yeah, they're, they're good. They're easy to wire up, none of the assholes. If you've got one of these with a can bus and you just can't get it to work, so if you buy one of them boards, you replace this board. That's it, a piece of cake, it will, will work. Right, with, easy enough to take out, you take the cover off, which is just got the four screws. One, two, three, four. Normally, you'll find, when you try and undo these, they snap. It's just part and parcel of use. They go rusty and that's, they get stuck. Then all you've got to do is pull these wires off there, they just pull out. That one's your motor for that there. That one, controls the heater plug and that there's another little uh, screw just there undo that take that out and then that just lifts away as a unit but when you replace these what you've got to do is make sure that that is put back in the right place and also there under that transistor there is a electrically resistive it's a piece of insulation it's to stop that from shorting out onto there because if it touches that if that's if that's not there when you put that back in and you tighten that screw up and turn it on it'll go bang so that's got to go back in. So you just put that screw in there. That actually is all could be one hand. Put that back in there. Do that up. Put these back in. You got uh, that one. Should go. In. Well, that one goes in there. That's the glow pin. That's the thicker wires of the glow pin. Pushes in, that one pushes in. So you've got that other one there. That one is for your water pump, your circulation pump. That's your main power input, your positive and negative, which is always on and easier for your trigger. So say on this, on the new one I've just put on, it's pin one and pin six goes to your fuel pump. So two wires, that's it, two wires. Bosh, jobs are good, but I say these things on eBay, you can get them about 100 quid. Um, I'll try and find a link and put the link into the eBay seller on the below the video so you can uh, go and have a look yourself. But they are worth it because, say, if you've got one of these that's CAN bus controlled or you cannot get this to work or if this is blown up, rather than buy yourself a new heater, buy a new board, much easier, really simple to wire up, great little piece of kit. There you go. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.